and Sutton, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to focus on a couple of Lightroom techniques. The first one's going to be Lightroom Heal. Let's get to it. So the image we're going to focus on today in Lightroom is this lovely image of the Liver Buildings and Man Island. What we're actually focusing on is using the heel brush on the sky. As you can see, it's a light blue sky. And it has some artifacts here from the sensor where it's actually dirty. This was shot on a Sony A7R, which clearly the sensor hasn't been cleaned for a while. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to crop the image. So we click on the crop tool and we crop it how we want. We want to get rid of as many artifacts that we don't want before we start healing. There you go. We've selected what the area we want. Otherwise, we're editing part of it that honestly we're, we're really not going to be using later on anyway. So, on the right hand side, there's the heel brush. We're going to click on that. And it's got three different options it's got opacity. So, what you're placing over is going to be either full, as in 100% of exactly what you've put what's getting placed over the top of this or you can lower the opacity so it's a, so you can change how see-through it is with the opacity but we're going to keep it 100% we've got the feather which is the edges of it so it's how it blends into that image we've got a blue background so it's not really going to change it but we're still going to keep the feather about 30 and then the size obviously there we go the size of the brush how much we want to work with you I'm going to show you what happens when you do a large one so when I click, it's going to try and find the best part of the image to copy over. Now that's a very big area to be working with. And it's obviously not done a very good job. It's selected the Man Island bit, with a, and you can see the feather just there around the edges. So it's blending it in around the edges. Now that's great if you want to copy a specific part, but we don't want to do that. We want to actually heal. So we're going to keep it relatively small. And 70 I would say for us and as we click it's gonna find a different part of that image and copy that over now if you were to drag this second one it would change what copied over so you can actually physically change what copied 80% of the time is absolutely fine so we're just gonna go through and select all the heels. Now we want to actually, we're going to move this one. We're going to move that one just up because we want it. We're going to have to heel there as well. We want it to be separated. We're going to look for all what we can see on here. It doesn't matter if you miss any because what we're going to do next is we're actually going to push the contrast or the exposure to its maximum limit what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to the right hand side onto the edit side if you push the contrast up you might be able to see different artifacts that you can't see there's one just on the side there just where the zooming button is and if we reset that and we do the exposure we play around with the exposure we might find different artifacts again again we can see that one there that's quite prominent but we'll reset that but there's a quicker and easier way so if we go to our preset if you have them what you can actually do is you actually go through multiple things very quickly to see if the artifacts are there in the image that you want so if you were having black and white for example select black and white here you can actually see that there, so we'd want to get rid of that. There's also one up there, one there, and one up there. So if we were keeping that as that, I actually quite like it, like that quite grainy, noisy image. But let's keep going through. Let's see what it shows up. So it's still the ones I've pointed out so far. And doing this just gives you a wider range and quicker way of going through different elements. Because as we can see here, the highlights have been dropped down, the exposure's down a little bit, and the shadows are down. But 
you can't really see the one here on the right uh, you can just about see the one on the left so if you were keeping that and that was your image and you wouldn't need to worry about it so. so let's go back to the one I want I actually want it as a grainy noisy image but we've got to heal a little bit more so we're gonna go back to the heel we're gonna find the parts that we want because the ones we can see And that is the healing done so once we click off the healing all them will go and there's the image done that's how i want the image i'm happy with that it's all saved and this thing can share so that's the lightroom heal brush any comments leave them below feel free to subscribe and follow me on all the social medias all the links are below have a nice day